Just a few minutes ago, Hawaii, all of Hawaiian Islands have been shaken by the 3.5 earthquake. It's located in Pahala, but it's very deep, 30 kilometers down, which is in the Earth's lithospheric mantle, as you can see here at the bottom, in the middle, right there of the mantle, all the way down on the right-hand side graph, where those red lines are. Now, uh, this, of course, is uh, much deeper. It's basically in the trunk of the arm that goes to feed the volcanoes. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. Now, after the 2018 Kilauea eruption of Hawaii, we've had major changes in the crater of Kilauea summit in that it has a water lake and the water continues to slowly rise. USGS says that the lake was measured on the 14th of October to be about 153 feet deep. According to the Hawaii Volcano Observatory latest Kilauea volcano alerts, the volcano is not erupting, so a small swarm of shallow seismic seismicity over the past 24 hours. The latest, this is the latest uh, uh, alert was October 23rd, so it's about a week old. Now, um, it says the uh, seismicity occurred near the Kaoiki fault system northwest of Kilauea summit. Other Kilauea monitored data streams maintain stable, show no signs of increased activity. This is, of course, before the 3.5 magnitude earthquake we had a couple of days ago and again today shaking the whole of the islands the uh, the previous earthquake was in Kilauea that one was shallow this one is 30 kilometers depth all of the Pahala earthquakes are in such depths in the lithosphere in other words it's the trunk that joins the magma chamber uh, and uh, towards the coming up to the crater now uh, of course we know that from previous geological articles, there's one magma chamber feeding Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and the Loihi Seamount. It's like a big balloon with three fingers on top, one finger feeding Mauna Loa, the other Kilauea, and the other Loihi Seamount. And uh, this here is, of course, 30.6 kilometers depth. Now, going back to the article of what the... Um, uh, Kilauea alert says uh, the clustering of shallow earthquakes in this region does not mean eruption is imminent. HVO has recorded shallow earthquakes in the area for many decades across several eruptive cycles at both Kilauea and Mauna Loa. Other monitoring data streams for Kilauea and Mauna Loa include ground deformation, gas and imagery show no signs of increased activity. HVO continues to closely monitor geologic changes, seismicity, deformation, gas emissions at Kilauea Mauna Loa volcanoes, and they will issue messages and alert levels changes as warning warranted by changing activity. Uh, now, okay, we have the, that's what the, the Kilauea says. Now let's go to the map. That's what HVO says, Kilauea. Let's go to the map so we can see the activity there and what's going on. As we said, this just happened a few minutes ago. We are at Sizemore Berkeley and this is the 3.5 magnitude that we just had a few minutes ago in Pahala, Hawaii, 30.3 kilometers depth. And uh, this is the shake map of it on the Big Island. It basically, if you extend the shake frequencies, you'll see that it did shake all of the island, all of the Hawaiian islands. Okay, so this is the area. The red is the fault lines, and this is Pahala here. This is Kilauea in the East Rift Zone, as we can see here. And this is Mauna Loa up here. And of course, it did shake all of this and all of the uh, Hawaiian Islands. Now, the let's go to the map again. You'll see oh, 53 people have reported it so far, of course. Okay, this is the location. Let's go to the aerial of this. 
the aerial of this. Okay, that's it right there. And it's on the southwest flank of Kilauea, right here. All of this has been shaken. This is the lava flows from 2018, eruptions of the rift zone. And we know that this area is, of course, sloughing off, trying to come into the southeast. And it's, as we said before, this is Mauna Loa. Pahala area right there, very deep. So all of you there, please be very careful. Um, obviously, as we said before, this is one magma chamber feeding the whole of the island. Okay, here we are at a GPS station between Pahala and Kilauea. And it shows us the uh, earthquakes and the location, uh, the uh, displacement of the earth. And uh, here we have the east, if it goes up, it means it's going east. Here we have north, if it goes up, it means it's going north. That means if it's going down, it's going south. And, um, okay, this is a, the area showing that this is going southeast. This location here is going southeast. This is what we talked about here. This sloughing off is, going, is moving southeast. This is closer to Mauna Loa. Let's go this GPS to see if, if we have anything. Okay, then that the past uh, 10 years. Well, the past two years, past 10 years basically is the same. Okay, it, this again is going southeast as you can see here. Okay, let's go down to find another one. This is GPS displacement in 10 years. Uh, there is nothing here. Let's go somewhere more towards. Um, Basically, it's the same. Let's go here. This one here. Nothing. Okay. And GPS. This one here. Oh, look at this. Okay. This is the. Uh, this one here is a 2018 eruption. Okay. It doesn't show us. Doesn't matter. But basically, you see that it's. It's the same. It's going east and south, as you can see here. East and south. What is this thing here? And this shows that it's inflating, as you can see. Okay, it deflated. It was deflating after this, after 2018. Now it's inflating. Okay. And as we said, Mauna Loa is the biggest, most active uh, earth uh, volcano in the uh, in the world. It's uh, it has a yellow alert, whereas Kilauea has green. Mauna Loa, since last August, if I remember correctly, 2019, received a yellow alert. Okay, let's go see uh, the closest P GPS to it, if we have any data there. Okay, again, it's going southeast, and it's really inflating, as you can see here in the past five years. Really inflating. That's Mauna Loa. And the same thing is happening in the whole of this area. It is inflating with magma. It's a hot spot, as we know. So all of you there, please be very careful. Thank you for your support.